Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Wild Arms 3. My name is Basilisk and in this episode we're getting attacked by hands. And by the way, I'm the Caffeine Dragon. I wasn't even intending to cut you off, it was just I couldn't stop once the once the exclamation point exclamation point popped aware. up. <laughs> However, my point still stands. I am the Caffeine Dragon. He is. And in the last episode, we came to survey point, survey point 17, and Malik was a dick and wouldn't let and wouldn't let Virginia spend time with her girlfriend. No, that about sums it up. <laughs> Sad thing is, people probably think I'm joking, but... Hi, Clive! Uh, that is actually just about the closest to a romantic relationship you get for Virginia in this game. Mm-hmm. We would say the closest any of the characters get to a romantic relationship, but Clive is married. Did you forget yeah. Jet had the disarm? No. Nothing okay. else, but he did have bad luck. And without a full disarm, you don't want to push it push it on that front. True. It's about time. He must have had a lot to say. My, uh, you. Well, now it's our turn to settle it. There's no reason to fight. This isn't the time or place. Whoa, what's this for? That's the other half of my loot. I bet the only reason why you're here is because the supervisor of the excavation site asked you to stop us. Well, as she's you know, not wrong. Yeah? As you know, we came here for the Aguilite and Germatron. But, we only have the Germatron. While you, on the other hand, you now have the Agbalite. Do you understand what I'm getting at? We both have a reason to fight? You catch on quick? That's what I like about you, you're sharp-witted. Make up your mind, Maya. But, Maya... You are... You sure are slow to catch fire. Don't... Don't tempt her! Like I said earlier, if you want to interfere in my business, you better be prepared to bring us down. And I will do the same by crushing you to the ground. No, holds bot. Don't. Don't give her those ideas. <laughs> oh, right. New book. Yeah. Schrodinger 3, everybody. Today, I am the fighting artist based off the famous literary novel, The Plot to Kill. I think this is based off a Wild Arms 2 character, but not visually. Like, this tripped me the fuck up the first time I saw it. Anyways, time mm. to set Todd's hair on fire. Also, future me. And then, Bad. Don't you dare put up another picture of Lin when you when comparing to uh, this version of Maya. It, yeah, no, no, it does kind of remind either. me of... It does kind of remind me of... of Lin. Uh... Yes, I know I can't stop you, future me. You know what? I'm actually gonna have him shoot Todd. I wanna build up his points. Does Remember, set Todd's hair on fire. I already did. Good. Sorry, I was yelling at my future self. His afro has jiggle physics, and I find that hilarious. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Uh... He just and fucking then Jet got in the twice. Dick. Yeah, but I'm like 90% certain Jet is ace, so he doesn't care. It doesn't matter Anyways, if you're ace. If you get stabbed in the dick with a staff, you're gonna be in pain. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh... Todd took off almost half of Clive's HP, so we're gonna heal him now. No, I think it was exactly half. That move is called Divide Shot. Uh. Yeah, you know what? That makes sense. Because I keep forgetting where Jet, where Todd gets his moves. Boy, when we get to the rest of the series, it's going to be a trip for people who watch this and aren't familiar with the older games. Yeah. Bombs? Oh, Virginia finally has uh, four digits of health. Yeah. Because, yeah, the Schrodingers and the... 
and Janus, or ja Janus, Janus, I don't know Janus. how they pronounce them in this game, uh, both have a lot of references to older games. Also, I think Clive might have been mad against Todd. I think he's also out of ammo. Why? Ah, yes, I forgot he can do that now. Yeah, he can. It was just the biggest waste of his time. Ah, cold. Ah, lag. Fuck, that slowed down the animation for a bit. <laughs> I'm... I didn't think I had him do that. That could be a problem. Will you... F oh! Yeah, I was hoping you were paying attention. Well, that hit all four of them? No. Huh. You need to use a gather card on each of them specifically. We are not in too, too much of a danger of money. You're thinking the lucky card for experience. Yeah, well, in that case, I'll... But healing is kind of more important. Uh, I've only got one character in need of healing, so what we're gonna do... Lucky card. Heal. Heal. Shoot Todd in the head. You can't miss. Now nah, you can. Just hits him in the head, passes straight through the afro. Yeah, that's true. More jet abuse. More, More jet, jet abuse. abuse. More jet what abuse. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone but Todd decided to pick on poor Jet. Wow! Is it because he used a healing item. Is this a no items ever type of scenario? Oh god, uh, don't remind me of that. Game. mad about it. Well, bye, Todd. You took out Todd. Not bad, but once I defeat you, we'll know for sure who's the strongest. Maya, <laughs> this isn't even the first time I've taken Todd out. Anyways, I need to. Jet needs health. Yeah. Fucking badly. Yeah. In fact, I'm gonna heal him too, because damn. Because I'm not sure they're not gonna go after him again. <laughs> they probably are, that's the thing. No, no, try to go after <laughs> Gallows. And Clive does not care for your kung fu combo. Five will protect Gallows with his life. Jet? Nah, let the fucker suffer. Yep. <laughs> Although, no, everyone talking to Gallows, I think. No. The, uh, the Bacon Breath was actually against Clive. No. That being said, Clive is not afraid to shoot a cat in the face. As weird as that cat is. You know what? I've got a million of them. We're gonna show this off. It has been far too long since we had a good summon. Because I think the last time we used it, we gave it to Jet. Yeah. Bombs? Which as far as your which as far as wasting your fucking time goes. Sellers do. Yeah, because I think that does do damage. Otherwise, I'm yes. about to look like a damn fool. But in the meantime, I'm going to keep shooting this cat. Bombs.
the Merciless Queen. Ah, yes, behold the face of villainy. Brunch. Actually, I, I don't think, think it does damage. Craft. I think it maybe it's just a stronger craft. God damn it! <laughs> Watch out that again. Yes. I mean, you could really just ruin the rest of the day and mystic a full carrot. Yeah. And there will definitely be times later on the game when I do that. Oh, definitely. But there's a uh, there's something I'm waiting on before we before I really start breaking out some bullshit. Yeah, true. Is it the aliens? No. Oh. I mean them too, but yeah, because those things fucking it's part suck. Of, uh, it's part of that strategy that you don't actually know about. I, I do seem to be forgetting. Unless it's the melee Gatling. That's the one. Oh, okay. I just put that on Virginia. Uh, easiest to set up on Clive because he starts with the lowest bullets. Yeah, that's true. And he has the highest physical damage. Also, the cat's dead. Yeah, so not only do you get the most ah! use out of it by, by giving it to Clive, uh, it's the easiest to set up. Here comes Hydro Turtle. Yeah, that's why I've not been doing anything for Clive's bullet capacity. Bye, that's kid! Fair. Wow. Jesus Christ, she's still alive! Yeah, I think just barely, though. Or she has, she is a lot tankier than she seems. I mean, she's still coming. Yeah. Holy shit! <laughs> Holy shit! Nice dodge. There we go. <laughs> Unfortunately... <laughs> I've been defeated. Ah, this is so humiliating. This wasn't supposed to happen. Yeah, give me that XP. It's for Genie I know, we're not done XP. with dragon fossils, yes. Yeah, because I think na next time we need, like, 30. Uh, I think you just in general use them to upgrade the thing. I don't think there's any yeah. specific upgrades, but a lot of enemies will drop... Uh, regular enemies will drop them now, too. Yeah, true. <laughs> Why? Why do we have to fight like this? There's no particular reason, but if I had to give one... It's because I love gems. I told you before, remember? I don't want to let lie to myself about what I love most. I can fight and risk my life over anything that sparkles. Gems are my personal reward for doing my best and working hard. You've gotten stronger. Much stronger than the first time we met. Another great art for her. Yep. I had to in order to make it this far. Just like you, I was doing my best and working my hardest. So this time you win. So this belongs to you. But don't misunderstand me. You have my respect, but that doesn't mean we're a team. Next time we meet, I'll show you a stronger me. Don't you forget that. Maya. Okay. Well, when that time comes, I too will be stronger than I am now. Oh, I forgot to tell you. The energy crystals, Aguilite and Garmatron, are made out of opposite properties. <laughs> whatever you, whatever you do, make sure those two crystals don't come to contact with each other, or else this run is gonna go kaboom. Run for it! <laughs> So yeah, we got a countdown timer now. Ow. Time so, for another song uh, that you're not gonna hear much of. Yeah. Whoa. Also, that being said, um, I don't think we're getting that 10,000 gala. 
called a hunch. No, I think she just bailed one, uh, dropped one as we left. Uh, both, actually. Now, that being said, um... Uh... Who remembers Final Fantasy VII? It is a bit easier this time on you, uh, as far as countdown timers during battle. Uh, yeah. because it only moves during actual turns. Basically, once you select your actions. Yes. Okay, I was While right. you're choosing them, you're them pretty much guess. golden. Wow. Wow. Yeah, right. those urchin bugs, uh, they're, le they're like early game enemies. Yeah, the, I was like, are these the ones from way early on? Yes. Yup. Yep. Alright. We ain't gonna have much reason to slow down here, so uh, let's boogie. Yeah, no. Boogie woogie. Ow. Good job. <laughs> nope. And that's why this dungeon like the... is so short. It's because you have to run. I like the little skid your characters do when they s uh, when they stop running. That's been around since the first game too. So. Fuck wrong way. Yeah, but that doesn't make it any less charming. Wild Arms, Wild Arms has always been a very excellently made series, and a lot of that is attention to little details like that. I'm honest. I've honestly always been annoyed that's not been uh, more popular. Yeah. Hopefully, Arm Fantasia changes all that when it comes out. I yeah, don't seriously. think it's that likely, but uh, okay. Yeah, I forgot they could do that. Captains yeah, are kind of assholes. If they were a threat, that might be a problem. Yeah. Anyway, where were we? Oh, right. Running. Well, glad no one else was there. What? <laughs> hmm. Let me see if I have this straight. You successfully protected, protected the Agulite and Germatron from falling into the wrong hands, but due to your mishap, you caused an explosion. And the intruders were able to make their escape during the chaos. Is that correct? Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Well, the workers were safely evacuated and there were no reported injuries, so let's overlook this incident, shall we? Thank you very much. So happy. So happy. Regarding, Regarding your reward, your reward yeah. taking into consideration the damage we have incurred, the balance is zero. Do you object? As long as, we, as you overlook what happened, that's fine. I'm really sorry. Please, be at ease. I have taken a liking to your team. Even Jet? You are all faithful, trustworthy, and foremost, full of energy. An ideal team of drifters. Even Jet? W we are? Yes. I believe I mentioned to you before that I, too, used to be a drifter before starting this order. That was a good ten years ago. Being the stubborn man that I am, I could not team up with anyone. Everyone just looks at Jet. <laughs> that is why I have much admiration for your team. 
Of course, I continued my adventures alone. I still remember how tough and lonely it was to work as a lone drifter. Then one day, I became lost during my adventure, and for many days, I was hovering between life and death. <laughs> I had lost all sense of time or day, and in an unconscious stupor, I found myself in front of a large tree. But looking back now, that probably was not a big tree. This was where I came into contact with various artifacts, sources of past wisdom, and many documentary records. These are what helped me found this order. But above all, this was the very first place the saint guided me to. Oh, forgive me. I seem to have gone off on a tangent. No, not at all. We were just amazed at your story. A very interesting story indeed. If you don't mind, please continue. It'll aggravate Jet. Fuck you I both. do not mind, but I've got nothing else to aggravate Jet. That is the, basically the end of the story. Thank you. So then, how'd you find your way back? I don't know. After being blessed with the artifacts and the knowledge, I was found semi-conscious in a village called Boot Hill. Boot Hill? That's my hometown. I know. To this day, I haven't the slightest idea why I was found in that village. Apparently, I was found lying unconscious by the foot of the entrance. Thanks to the friendly villagers who nursed me back to health, I soon left the village in search of the ruins. Yes, it was the excavation of this very Ark of Destiny. After that, I gave up on being a drifter, and guided by the saint, I started this order. The rest is history. I thought you said the story was over. Two different stories, Cruci Jet. Fuck. The crucial turning point to your story seems a little too vague. So where's this big tree that you were supposedly guided to? As far as I know, such a place doesn't exist. That I do not know. Everything was enveloped in mist, obscured and blurred. But there is one thing I, that I do remember. That place where the saint guided me, and where I gained the artifacts and the wisdom, was a world of green and blue. That was the impression I got. It pains me not knowing what it means or signifies. A world of green and blue. Sounds almost like a dream. Wait, was it a dream? But one thing for certain is that this incident was reality. As you can see, I have excavated the immigrant ship, and I am leading this order as we speak. So that is the basic account of my story. Forgive me for rambling on as I did. Not at all. Information about runes and artifacts are valuable for drifters. I'm glad you understand. Oh, and one more thing. I will grant you access to the Order's library for your perusal. It houses much information about ruins and artifacts. I hope you find it useful. Thank you very much. Well, we should be on our way. Okay, we are going to save and I'm going to end this episode off because I need to go eat dinner. Dinner is important. And also we I need to make my dinner. We've also done a good amount. Uh, we've also had a good bit of ex uh, exposition for this episode. We're also going to use the inn. <laughs> inn man. Those are still some uncomfortable looking beds. Yep. I just them to give you like a desk right here. But how much you want to bet somebody rolled over and hit their heads on it? Probably oh, gallows. Definitely gallows. Huh. Alright, in the next episode, uh... 
we will peruse this library and figure out what we're doing next. Uh, in the meantime, this has been Basilisk. And I am the Caffeine Dragon. And we will see you all then. Thank you and good night, folks. Take care.